Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be filming the five books I will take with me in quarantine. Um, I was tagged by the lovely Latimia. I will leave her channel uh, down below in the description box. And um, it was very nice that she tagged me because it's a quite a small video. Uh, but yeah, it's fun to dive into your uh, book collection and to take a look um, what makes your heart, heart happy and um, yeah it was it's nice searching for the books I wanted uh, to take with me but I don't think it's quite a surprise uh, the five that were um, appealing the most I shall say so without further ado, I'll just start with the first book, and that's the Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings book by Hannah Lynn. Now it's very difficult to choose a Hannah Lynn book because I really love them all. Um, if if I'm honest, I had to choose the Women at Work coloring book because I haven't done any picture in that one yet. But on the other hand, I really like fairy tales and a handling girl in a fairy tale setting is just yeah what is uh, needed to take your mind off things um i have done quite a few already since i'm not going to show the books alone i can easily flip through the book and show what i've done in this one already so my most recent coloring in this book is tinker bell going to lift it up so that a bit of the shimmery magic is uh, shown and I'm super happy with how this one turned out and this one is quite from quite a while ago and I've used washi tape around the borders as you can see I tried to match a color with something in the picture this is a fairly old one, 2018, so two years old. March 2018 is written on the other uh, side of the book. But still, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. And I especially like the, the moon and the, the light around it. I think that was quite okay. This one is from last year, I think. A lady in the frog or with the golden ball. And where is my froggy? Oh yes, here. And he has a golden crown. <clears throat> then I have this one. Really liked to color her hair and I've used some gold paint because she's Rapunzel and yeah she has some golden shimmer in her hair really fun to do and then and this one it's also an oldie yeah April 2018 this was the first time that I tried to do water so I've used watered down acrylic paint to make it less transparent and I was very happy with the result. Color and chat with Sammy was so inspired by this picture that she almost did it on the same way a few weeks later, I think. So that was quite an honor. That's, uh, yeah, it's very... Very nice to see such a great colorist making almost the same picture. And then we have this one. Most of the time I use alcohol-based markers and go over with pencil, but I didn't on this one. At least not on her skin and her hair. That was done with Holbein pencils, if I'm not mistaken. And I'll can't remember this is paint, but I can't remember if I've based the dress. 
Yes, the dress I did base. But her skin is pure pencil work. And I think that's it for this book. Oh no. Oh, this was the very first one I did. And mo one of the first ones I did with alcohol based markers as a base. I just got them and uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed how it worked. I never thought I would love alcohol based markers that much, but as a a base is just fantastic. And I did my shading with Prismacolor pencils, if I'm not mistaken. So I was very happy with this one. Did I... I haven't put on any stickles. Wow, that's a, a unique page. <laughs> so that was the first book. So the storybook princesses... No, the fairy tale princesses and storybook darlings by Hannah Lynn. As a second choice, they are in no particular order, just I don't have a number one or a number five. I love them equally. I've chosen Soulmates by Hannah Carlson uh, so far because I don't have her most recent book. Um, this is the most recent one for me. And I really like the concept of the two, ma two matching pages. Um, the only problem I have with it is that I'm most of the time too scared to just dive in but it's a shame because i love her artwork so much um i will have her new book the, the dutch imprint of her new book as well i don't know when it will come because there were huge problems with the decisions that the publisher made and hannah wasn't too happy with what they've done so the publisher mailed the people that are listed for a review copy that they would do a second uh, publishing of this book but I know, don't know any deadline when it will come so I will have to wait so you all know the artwork I think that Hannah is famous of or for and I have done a few but not much but I, I really must dive into this one again this one was the first one I did in this book to test no 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 not to test out my luminance I did another picture in another book I think with the luminance can't remember which pencils I've used but it was a lot of fun with a special background with some splattering yeah and the paper is just fantastic you can go so super wild with all your mediums and this is only yeah february this year and he he has some uh, shimmery things as well. And I think most of it was done with water-based media, but I did do a little bit of shading on top here and there, I think, but not that much. It was very quick. The only problem I have with this book is... Do I have to choose the same colors here as I did over there? Sometimes I think I have to, but on the other hand, yeah, there will be other dragonflies, as you can see here. The pattern on their wings is different from this one, so yeah. And plus, I can't remember which pencils. I think I've used Arteza one, but I'm not sure. And I will definitely not be able to remember which type of green that I've used so yes these two are my favorites I think especially this one um, except for the skin I think everything except for the this part and the Sun and the moon everything was done with intense pencils 
and I love how poppy her outfit looks. So you see some shimmery stuff on the sun and the moon and on this diagram I think it's called. I'm really 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 happy with how this turned out and as I was saying just a minute ago I was so um, thinking about do I will I choose the same color palette as this one because this was done later and I decided what the heck I'm just going to do something completely different and of course there's also a turquoise bottle here but it's another kind of turquoise than this one um, but I'm, I'm super happy with how that tur turned out as well although it's completely different there's also some shimmery paints and some yeah extra details so very happy with if you see them so together it's just it makes you happy this one I did on camera for you guys a color along from A to Z um, had a lot of fun it was a very simple page but nevertheless it, it was really lovely to work on also some glossy accents some stickles and um, water-based media i think the supra colors or the albrecht durers for everything his fur or feathers have a little bit of color a light gray it's not very visible but I really didn't want to do anything else I just wanted to keep him quite natural but you can see that it's a bit more gray than the background and that was it for this book so if we are, we are still in quarantine the, the measurements are being um, they are becoming more um, or less strict I shall call it um, but I would have a lot of pictures to do during in quarantine now a shame is that I'm coloring less the past weeks not that I don't love coloring anymore on the contrary if I see these pages I want to dive in so badly but um, yeah I'm, I'm still coloring but it's going slow and I'm gaming a lot so but well the books are here if I need them the third one Sagor Ox Sagnar um, special style of colorings whimsical cute um, they scream for color yeah perfect paper you can work with so many media on this well as on in this book as well so i haven't done too many in this book either but um yeah i've done a few this one isn't one that i like very much it was a body color and uh, unfortunately i think the lady who i did it with isn't on Instagram anymore her version was so lovely but I think it was too dark everything was too dark I had to it would have been better if it was more bright but oh well it's definitely not ugly or I don't hate it I've done this one I'm not super fond of this one but yeah it was a fun project um, I haven't done any shimmering on this. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, okay, I did some stickles. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I couldn't see, but I did. And then I did this one, was also a body color with Jen from Reading with Pokes. But whoa, if I could do this one over, I would. <laughs> Oh, this is no <laughs> this was the beginning of something nice I thought but 
it turned out so ugly and then yeah me and my big cross unfortunately i can't work on this one anymore i have some paint stains here but i will uh, think of a solution but to be honest i don't think i will color this one very quickly because flowers and me is still a bit of a difficult combination i'm not always inspired how to color them or and i really want to make them fantasy looking not always like they should in real life so and then it's very difficult to uh, to think of of how to color in a flower this, this one was also a body color i think with jen and sammy but i can't remember too well Done this one also not too fond of it a bit too dark but yeah and this one I really like I did I think a color along for this one or a color and chat I'm not sure I remember working on the background that's intense and uh, I've used some water-based markers and shaded afterwards with pencils. Super fun to work with. Plus they don't bleed through the page. In the back, nothing to see. It's a very, very lovely material to work with. I did these flowers too and I left them like they were. Without any shading on top. then my double page i think i did these at the beginning of this year i think so this was also very nice to work on shimmer and glitter this background has some shimmer and glitter as well I kept the bunny quite plain with colors some gray here and there and then white signo to mark or to erase the marks so yeah it was really lovely to work on also one that i love very much is this one and i think it's because of these poppy leaves i i, I don't know the chest is also a bit poppy um yeah i really like how this one turned out too and i believe i don't know which pencils that i've used but i remember using the color softs only for this troll i just got them and um, i was gifted them and i really wanted to try them out on as much paper as i could and i remember working on him and it was the combination with the paper was sick no really <laughs> i'm speaking dutch in between um it was really a good combination this is also quite recent october 2019 a lot of shimmery going on really like the autumn colors for the background um, yeah a very simple one but one i'm very happy with did this with holbeins just a few simple bubbles because i didn't know what to do with the background and yeah I, I i liked how it turned out and then some other another double page spread did this one in february this year and this is a very it's quite old um i've used some 3d paints on the border um Yeah, it's quite vivid. 
and these were done a lot was done with the graphite tint pencils by Derwent and I think hmm, I think I've used the luminance ones for the skin and I had to stop the video a few seconds because my battery or uh, no my yeah my timer of the the phone would cut off straight away this one was one of the first ones that I did in this book um, I like it but on the other hand if I could do it again I would do it so differently because the background is quite colorful and then mm, does it match together not sure but yeah I really like how these little mice turned out so that was it for this book and then number four I have chosen for Flora by Maria Troll it's the Dutch version and then it's called Flora and Fauna um, I don't think I've done too much in this one but yeah Maria Troll is I really like her work, artwork and the reason that I chose Flora is because there are more people involved in her other books are more plants and, and little creatures and animals involved I still love animals and such but I really like that she's mixing people in between her pictures I've done this one had a lot of fun working on this one it was super quick and put some shimmery stuff on the floor and I really like how this turned out I did a lot with water media I shaded a bit here and there yeah super lovely I don't think I've done maybe one more yes one more no two more okay I did three in this book this was also not too old March so two months ago really lovely picture I did use a base as a background for the flowers I think Albrecht Durer for or, or uh, pa, um, super colors and shaded on top I, yeah I think it's the, the super colors the border is also super color and then the page did buckle a little bit but on the other hand it's quite good to work on still well I'm sorry the tripod did a strange thing and this one is totally with watercolor media with a teeny tiny bit of shading not much it's also done within an hour two hours really like how this one turned out and the only accent are the inner parts of the flowers and the wings of the bee so yeah this one is such a fun book and yeah super happy with uh, with the amount of pictures that I still be able to do so and then the last one different choice a difficult choice because Clara Markova I love her artwork I have a bit of a problem with her first book um, not too sure about some of the pictures how I have to do the background and I think it's more difficult than her more recent ones although they are more detailed they give me more ideas what to do with the pictures themselves I think so that's why I've chosen her most recent one and I can't wait until the 
um, autumn time this year then we'll, she will normally be releasing something new she was working on two projects but I'm not sure if she still is or if it's only one I haven't done a lot in this book either but I did a few my most recent coloring is in this one when I filmed my finished pages for March uh, for April I was still working on this one and now it's finished so yeah very nice to work on but I was a bit afraid of doing these things um, and the curtain was also not that simple to do but yeah And then I'm going to take a look. Oh yeah, I did this one as well. Used a lot of super colors and Holbein pencils. I'm very happy with how these mushrooms turned out. Um, tried to play with light as well on the face and on the blankets. On his face as well. I'm not too happy with the... The wings of the the yeah butterfly or moth. I wish I had done something different than just putting gold paint, but yeah, still it's a lovely picture. And then this one was also quite recent, March of this year. I think I've used the Holbein pencils and luminances. Had a lot of fun working on this one as well. And I think that's about it, except for the intro page. Of course, with some shimmer and glitter. Really like how this one turned out as well. So, and that was it. Those were my five books for quarantine. And stupid enough. <laughs> The only one I colored in during quarantine was this one. But yeah, um, it's just because that I'm coloring less or less frequent and, and slower that I didn't pick out my books in which I did my most recent pictures. Um, I just thought, what would I choose if I'm back in full force with coloring which books will i would i be happy to have with me um, locked up and those were the five ones that really appealed to me so i hope you've enjoyed this video i'm not going to tag anyone because i have seen a lot of videos about this subject already and i can't tell who was or wasn't tagged um, so feel free to do this kind of video as well I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you all are still safe and keep safe and I will see you in another video take care everybody bye bye